guys, it's Kevin again, and um, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing Sweetie Pilot for um, Rain. Um, I was looking for this show because it looked like a very different show for the CW. They normally are, you know, do like teen um, soap opera -ish dramas or um, mythical creature shows, and this was neither of those. This was more like a history show. So I was definitely looking forward to it. So I checked out the pilot, and I wanted to rewatch it, and I just rewatched it again. And uh, what did I overall think of Rain? I thought Rain was good. It's not perfect. And I, I did really enjoy it, though. I did think it was a good show. Although it is probably going to get canceled because the viewership for this show was terrible. And I had a feeling it would be. I mean, it, is, it doesn't belong on the CW. It's up against a lot of shows, and it's probably just going to get canceled. But... The one thing I will say about this show is that um, history buffs are not going to like this show. It is not exactly what happened. It's not exactly accurate. Um, but basically, this show is about, um, it, it focuses on a real person, Mary Queen of Scots. And she has been hiding in this convent since she was nine. And um, she's finally getting out of this convent because she's been betrothed, as they called it, to... Um, to this, to, um, what's his name? I can't think of his name right now. Uh, the Dau Dauphin of France, Francis, and, um, his half-brother, um, Bash. He, she's been betrothed to Francis since she was six, and, um, basically, she's just arrived at the court, and, um, it's, you know, it's basically like a high school thing. She meets up with um, other people in waiting, and she meets him, and, um, there's something in the state of France, basically, there's something rotten there. Uh, Seer Nostra Damis has told Francis's mother, Queen Catherine, that the marriage between her son and Mary cannot happen, because Mary will cost Francis his life, um, now, the one thing that, you know, you guys should know about the show is that, um, I, Francis' future isn't great, but worrying about death is for the olds. The teenagers at court have Francis' sister's wedding party to attend, basically, and as they get ready to dance, um, dance together, they're actually dancing to modern music, which some people uh, might be upset about because it's modern music, but, you know, it worked for The Great Gatsby, it worked for this, so, I mean, basically she, uh, Mary finds herself alone in a room while a mysterious boy tells her not to drink the wine at the party tonight, but when Mary opens the door to see who is there, no one appears, and, um, you know, this actually does seem like possibly there could be like a ghost there or something, or is it the little girl? You know, there was a little girl who said there could there's a ghost there. And or is there a weird supernatural element running through it? It is a CW after all, so I would not be surprised if that's what's going on. But in a show like this, I don't know if that's needed. Um at the wedding party, there's this guy, Colin, who tries to get Mary to drink the wine, but she's too busy dancing with her friends. Um and um but then we get to the scene that drew headlines this week with basically this betting ceremony, which basically, if you don't know a betting ceremony, basically two people just go off and they have sex and whatever. But there was a very controversial scene after this that had to do with that girl who had sex with a guy actually masturbating. And they took it out because they thought it was way too risque for the CW. I think it could have been funny to see. I mean, it wasn't anything too revealing. But, I mean, apparently they had to take it out. And I think it's better for them to take it out or else it probably would have drawn national headlines that they kept it in. Um... You know, it's not like HBO. This is not HBO. This is CW. Um, and Mary did not drink the roofy wine when Colin comes to her bed that night, basically to um, to rape her and thereby make her unfit to marry Francis. She wakes and screams. Instead, Colin is hauled off and beheaded. And Mary lives to fight another day. She doesn't know it yet, but Queen Catherine orchestrated the whole thing and clearly has more tricks up her sleeve to try and stop the marriage. Now, there's some other stuff going on besides this. Um, you got your, the half-brother, Bash, who is clearly being set up as a third part, as a third part of the royalty love triangle. He hopes, he hope, hope he gets, he basically gets to hook up with a few of the ladies in waiting while Mary crushes his heart. Um, it also seems like he is modeled after Prince Harry and gets into all kinds of antics. And Francis and Mary meeting for the first time outside the castle was very awkward, I think. Um, and, um... 
you know, they basically said, um, nice legs, Francis, and she said, yes, I have legs, and, um, I thought that was weird, and kings do not answer to their wives, so clearly Francis isn't gonna be a the good brother either, and it'll be interesting to see how the pacing of the show works, and whether each episode covers days or weeks at a time, and, um, here's my problem with this show. It's not really something I think belongs on the CW. Um, it belongs on something like, I mean, the CW kind of just made it their own thing. And by having that ghost thing on the show, I think that's very strange if that's what's going on here. Um, what does this show have going for it? Does it have good performances? I mean, the performances are pretty standard here. There's no one really I feel is great. There's no one who's really is great in this show. There's no one amazing in this show. But it is a good show. I will say it is good, and I like the characters, and I like where the show is going. I like, and I like the plot of the show. But the ghost stuff for me, I think, is a little strange. I don't think that belongs in this show. I think this show should just be a history show. Just have the two, you know, don't tell exactly what happened, because I think they're not telling exactly what happened, because we already know the story, and if they told exactly what happened, it'd be boring. So they're basically just trying to make it their own, which I think is a good move, because, I mean... People who are like the demographic for this show, people who are watching The Vampire Diaries and tune into Rain, they're not going to want to see exactly what happened in the show. They're not really into history like that. So that's my problem with this show. It does not belong on the CW. I think it belongs on something more like HBO or AMC or the History Channel, like a mini series on the History Channel or something like that. Also, this does not seem like a series to me. It seems more like a mini series. I think it worked better that way. But we'll have to see. I will keep watching the show. I do think it is a good show. Um, the one girl um, in this show, um, what's her name? Anna Popple. Anna Popplewell. She, I, she's the only one I recognize. She was in um, Lion, the Witch, in the Wardrobe and Prince Caspi, and I recognize her. And it's all Australian and British actors, so it's not really anyone you're going to recognize. Um... Although the main lead did play Cora on um, on Team Wolf, so she's good. And uh, overall, yeah, so what do I think of the show overall? I'd say definitely check it out, but it's not going to be, it's not for history buffs. If you are a history buff, do not watch the show. You are not going to like it. You're going to say it's extremely unrealistic, and that's not what happened. And um, it's not perfect either, and it has this weird ghost thing going on, which I really hope it's not true. I really hope that was just, like, someone telling you not to. Um, and, um... Yeah, but, um, basically, what else do I have to say? Um, it looks like the mother, Catherine, she's determined to save her son, um, no matter what happens, basically. Um, and, um, also Mary soon realizes that unseen foes within the castle are conspiring to sabotage her marriage to Francis and even threaten her life, so... That's it for this review of Rain. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know what you guys saw of the show. Do you like the show? Do you like the premise? Do you like the characters? Do you like the cast? Um, do you like the weird ghost stuff? I thought that was a little strange. That's it for my review. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Okay, bye.